Hi everyone, I'm Ryan from Sounderon. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your music files into MP3s on iTunes so you can use them with your USB or SD cards. In order to use the USB or SD player, you will first need to purchase a compatible USB or SD card. We recommend Amazon.com selection. Make sure that you select the 4GB option as the larger memory sizes are not supported by the Pile devices. You can also buy a USB flash drive. I've included links to these products in the description down below. You can convert any of the songs in your music collection to another file type by using iTunes. Make sure that your current version of iTunes is up to date by clicking on Apple, Software Update. Songs downloaded directly from iTunes will have an Apple-specific format that they come in. You will need to convert the Apple-specific format to an MP3 before you can use it with any of the Pile devices. To sort your library by file type, right-click the Field column, display all the available options for sorting. Click on the Kind option, and the file type will be displayed for each song in your library. If you double-click the column again, it will sort your library according to the file type of the songs. Any songs downloaded directly from iTunes will show up as Purchased AAC Audio File. This is not the same thing as an MP3. MP3s will be labeled as MPEG Audio File. This is just another name for an MP3. After right-clicking on a song, Create MP3 Version may not show up in the Options list. In order to enable Create MP3 Version, you'll have to go into iTunes Preferences and Import Settings. Change AAC Encoder to MP3 Encoder. You can leave the settings on higher quality, 192 kilobytes per second, or you can change it to your preference. Select OK and hit OK again to save the change in preferences. Now when you right click on a song, Create MP3 version should appear under the options. To convert the purchase AAC audio file to an MP3, select them all, right click, and select Create MP3 version. iTunes will make a new copy of each file in the MP3 format. When you finish converting, you can either save the original file format or you can click to delete them. Now you're free to copy the song over onto your SD or USB drive. When you plug your USB or SD card into the Mac, it'll show up as a drive. You can either access it from the shortcut or through the finder window. Once you've converted all your songs to MP3s, you can select them all in iTunes and drag them directly to your drive. Make sure that you eject your drive before pulling it out of the computer. Thank you.